Hey everyone, with uh, poor ice conditions, I thought it'd be a good time to do a video on perch and trout. So a couple weeks ago, I got into some nice trout and some nice perch. Um, I got a couple different lakes I'll fish for trout here locally, and then the perch were up there at Clear Lake. And I got a lot of questions about what I was doing, where I was catching them, what, what I was using. So I just thought I'd take a couple minutes here and show you what I was using. So let's start with the trout first. Um, I like to hit Patoka and Terra here in Johnston for the trout. And in the open water, I like to fish a lot in the shallows, but for the ice, we like to go into the deeper water. So um, up to 19, 20 feet, and even in Terra, I'll fish a little bit deeper, 16 feet or so. And I like to use um, something flashy. So anything metallic, uh, VMC Tingler Spoons have been really good. Uh, Swedish Pimples have been good. And tipping that with red spikes or minnow heads, either one of those has been pretty good. Uh, so what I like here, I'm going to show you. This is a VMC Tingler Spoon in a chartreuse and metallic silver here with a glow chartreuse back. This one has been really productive. Uh, so what I did there with, with that <clears throat> is fish that deeper water, but I like to come off the bottom about five foot and just rip it five foot off the bottom and they would come in and crush it. So I didn't get a ton right off the bottom, but I'll start there and I'll work in increments of a couple feet. So start at the bottom, come up to about 17 feet, give it 30 seconds or so, come up to 15, all the way up to about 10 foot. And if I don't get any kind of marks, any kind of hits at 10 foot, then I'll hole hop and, and go to another hole. Um, perch up at Creel Lake. Uh, I had good luck in shallow water, okay, so five foot is all I fished. I think the bigger perch are going to hang out in the shallower water. So if you're fishing 15, 20 foot of water and you're hunting for perch, you need to go way shallow. Um, I think anything 10 foot or under is where you're going to find your better perch. Uh, I was using a Lindy Rattling Flyer Spoon. So I was using a perch color. This one's not the exact one because I still actually have my my perch one on on my rod because it was working so well I still got it set up. Uh, but this is a similar style. It's a rattle spoon, Lindy Rattling Flyer Spoon. And I tipped that with half a minnow. It's got a little bit bigger treble on it to hopefully keep some of those smaller fish away. And the other thing I was using was Rip and Wrap. Okay, and a chartreuse uh, color here, Fire Tiger. And uh, once again, got the rattles, bigger bait, keep away some of the smaller fish. You still will catch a few, but uh, you definitely get some nicer ones with the bigger baits. So I hope this tip helps you guys if you are in hunt of uh, perch or trout. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to message me and I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks.